Because I've been working on my energy. Like Esther, you said, was in the van. And sometimes I get that feeling now where I feel I'm more balanced. So I'm just wondering, am I feeling more balanced? You are. You are. Oh, thank God. Because <laughs> I was worried I was not doing enough. Or the fact that you're working on it <clears throat> makes us want to encourage you to relax a little bit in it. Yeah. But here's a good question that you could use to focus yourself into some interesting and satisfying conversations say to yourself or say to your inner being I believe I'm in the receiving mode and I'm listening I believe I'm in the receiving mode and I'm listening mm -hmm. and then don't be demanding of it coming immediately mm -hmm. just I believe I'm in the receiving mode and I'm listening because you know the first translation that any of you begin to translate once you're in the receiving mode is an emotional translation in other words it's that feeling it's the feeling of alignment it's the feeling of connection the words are going to come later the words are further down the manifesting trail but the fact that you're in the receiving mode and you're feeling good and you're feeling that satisfaction mm -hmm. so then just focus slightly ever so slightly because you don't want to get your thoughts in the way of anything like why is it not coming or why can't I hear mm -hmm. and just say softly I'm in the receiving mode. I know I am. Can't feel this good and not be in the receiving mode. I know I'm in the receiving mode. So I'm just going to listen. Things always work out for me. And just let that be something that's on your mind all the time. You know, when you're most in the receiving mode, when you're driving, when you're driving and not in concentrated traffic, but when you're driving, when the road feels open and you're sort of settled back in and you know, it's going to take so much time to get from one place to the other and you just sort of settle in there's not really anything else that often is very conducive to being in the receiving mode mm -hmm. when you're in meditation that is conducive to the receiving mode right after meditation that's conducive to the receiving mode when you first awaken in the morning that is so much the receptive mode when you first wake up just lie there for a minute mm -hmm. don't hit the ground running just lie there for a mm -hmm. minute and bask and acknowledge that you are enjoying your bed and allow yourself to rest in the receiving mode just a little bit and see what thoughts begin to come and what's interesting is the thought may not be a mathematical equation that's going to solve world problems in fact we're pretty confident in telling you it's not going to be that <laughs> the thought may be moving to a part of the house and you don't even know why just a rendezvous with the bird that's sitting there on the windowsill waiting for you mm -hmm. or it might be deciding to eat something or call someone or any number of things but whatever the thought is when you feel pretty sure that you're in the receiving mode and you get an impulse it's our powerful encouragement to you to follow through with that impulse mm -hmm. because that's the way you show yourself that you were in the receiving mode that's the way you let yourself know that your guidance was giving you an idea about something for this reason and this reason and this reason. So these impulses can not just be a flash in the morning. They can just keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. Are you ever at your desk and you have that feeling that you're thirsty, but you put it off for a minute because there's something else that you're right in the middle of? Get up and go wherever it is that you go to get your water and see what that message really was. Mm -hmm because your inner being is guiding you through the path of least resistance and so often it will give you an impulse about something just getting up and stretching your body you think it's just to stretch your body sometimes it gives you a better vantage point of what's around also we could write a thousand books in a thousand days describing to you all of the details of what your inner being is guiding you to and through and over and around in order to help you find not that end result but that happy trail always on your way to yeah. another end result and do you notice how your nervousness has dissipated completely it went completely away as you just listened and focused and really got in the receptive mode and you know that you heard every single thing that we've said here mm -hmm. that it all resonates that's how you know you're in the receptive mode there's a resonating feeling it clicks with you you know the value of it you see yeah. and you don't need to be sitting here under 
interesting circumstances in a sort of spotlight in order to be in the receptive mode you're in the receptive mode on a really regular basis you just have to trust that you are and follow through with it to find out the results of what you were in the receptive mode about how else are you gonna know how else are you gonna come to trust oh I had that feeling and that feeling led to this and I had that feeling this feeling led to this Esther had an impulse to call someone at the office yesterday and as she called she could feel a it's often present with this person but a real openness a softness a receiving modeness they were both feeling it Esther was in the van at the beach when she received the impulse to call and his opening words to her were you got time for a really cool story and Esther said yeah yes. I do and he said there's a skunk on the property as to that I know that skunk woke me up in the night I didn't know smell could wake you up <laughs> and he said well the skunk was around and now it isn't but it was and now it's not but it's having been there lingers <laughs> so he said so I opened my doors the back door and the front door of my office to the outside and I was just sitting there and a red cardinal hopped right into the office hopped right in on the floor and he said I know it's my mom I know it's mom I know it's mom he said and then I lost it meaning he felt the fullness of the love of his mother right there in that moment right there in that moment so we're giving this to you because we want you mm -hmm. to notice the extra bird activity that is on its way to you and we want you to notice that it is as a result every time of your receptive mode those messages come because you're in the receptive mode and then the tendency is to go right out of the receptive mode because it reminds you of something that you have a practice thought about that keeps you out of the receptive mode did you follow the sequence of what we we're talking about you're in the receptive mode frequently and you get the idea in fact usually when you're in the receptive mode a desire which has been revealing itself to you steadily is received by you or realized by you receptive mode BAM then almost immediately the next thing you do is think about that desire and how it hasn't come about mm -hmm. and you take yourself right out of the receptive mode in the same way that someone could get a message from a dearly departed loved one because they're in the receptive mode and then because they remember that they're departed then they leave the receptive mode did you follow the correlation all of that mm -hmm. this receptive mode is something that we want you to notice when it happens and we want you to notice that you can keep it going because the momentum of the receptive mode is what you're all asking for that momentum in the receptive mode is that sweet spot that you're all asking for and that's when you're riding high that's when you're flying high that's when ideas are coming that's when people are attracted to you that's what you came for nothing else will do nothing else will do for you nothing else is even close to what you intended when you decided to come forth into these physical bodies you said I'll sift and sort through contrast and I'll launch rockets but you said that knowing that it would be very quick and that it would be something that would consume you you never expected to be stuck in step one you knew that step one would happen and it would launch rockets of desire and that source would take it from there and that this vortex would bubble up into something that you could if you were in the right frame of mind receive so life really begins conscious creation oh we've not said this before you are asking for it so there's creation which just happens people are creating by default all over the place because they don't know what they're doing conscious deliberate creation begins with step three the receptive mode because step one doesn't have to be conscious and step two is your source energy consciousness but the receptive mode is your really first step only step only important step getting into the receptive mode is all that matters in order for everything to then progress in the way that you've intended it we are enjoying watching you all we are enjoying watching the transformation of your awareness as you are moving forward from this place we are enjoying the awareness that you're in the receptive mode and the self-appreciation self-appreciation is a good thing it leads to all in all outworthiness if you'll practice a little bit of self-appreciation here and here and here and here and here before you know it you will be expectant of good things coming to you 
and as you move through traffic and people yield to you and people nod at you and people make way for you and people play with you as you move through your day and people are kind to you and people are helpful to you and people are receptive of you and people are co-creating with you your sense of right place right time with the underpinning of absolute worthiness that's who you are that's the way you're supposed to live not defensively not justifyingly just absorbing the well-being that is flowing on your behalf to you all day every day this has been a good conversation because it's helping you to lower those barricades and let more of that well-being into your personal experience it's such a nice thing when you decide to love yourself enough to let the love that's projected to you all day long reach you but it doesn't matter how much source or anyone loves you if you don't let it in it's like it never happened if the tree falls in the forest and there's no one there with ears to translate the vibration of it into sound did it make a sound no you get into the receptive mode so that you can receive it you see source can't love you enough to penetrate your wall of unlovability in fact the more you don't let it in and the more source loves you the more you don't let it in and the more source loves you it's time for you to sort of give up the justification and give up all those stories that somebody who was in a really disconnected place told you about how mad God will be at you if you don't accept his love mm -hmm. it's not like that at all is it enough I'm happy <laughs> yeah. Yeah.